In our first lesson on magnets, we talked about this idea of ferromagnetic substances and what they are as an introduction, but today we're going to go a little bit more in detail about exactly what ferromagnetic substances are and how they work. And when we talk about a ferromagnetic substance, of course, we're just talking about any type of material that's attracted to a magnet, something that will stick to a magnet or a magnet will stick to it. And when we mention attraction, basically all we're talking about is just a pushing, or rather a, not a pushing, but a pulling force from the magnet to the ferromagnetic object. The three major ferromagnetic elements that we talk about are iron, nickel, and cobalt. And basically these ferromagnetic objects will be attracted to any magnet. Sometimes, though, we can take these materials and actually mix them together or mix them with other materials to make what we call alloys. Um, a lot of people are very familiar with stainless steel. It's a mixture of iron and carbon. Uh, things like iron and nickel give us an element called permalloy. So these are two examples of things that even though they aren't specifically iron, nickel, or cobalt, these alloys, because they contain those metals, will also be attracted to magnets. 